the equipped Atheata Bloom. I was speaking of Rockland earlier today, and I've been watching the news for quite some time. Mostly it's depressing. Uh, but she told me that there is a comet heading inbound, and this is the name of the comet, Ison. Uh, it was discovered by the Russians uh, approximately around this date, which was September 1st of last year. They discovered it when it was heading into the Jupiter orbit, which is when they usually spot the uh, inbound comets. If you notice the trajectory on this one, although it doesn't reflect what's reported, uh, it is coming from out of the elliptic. So this is not native to our solar system and probably not coming from our Oort cloud. Not saying for sure, for sure, but more than likely. Uh, most of our comets come in through the elliptic. So this one's coming in at a strange angle, and it's going to leave at a strange angle. The reported uh, entry point is actually at 65 degrees relative to the elliptic. Now what I'm going to do is run this thing forward, and I'm going to zoom in just a bit. Here it comes into the solar system, just now over Jupiter, which was around January, probably 14th of this year. It just went past it. So let me zoom in. There's something I'm going to show you. Right about like that. All right. I'm going to run it forward in time. Comet's coming in. Planet Mars is coming in to intercept. Let me get the um, position right. I'm going to zoom in and center on the planet Mars. Yeah, give me a second. There it is. I'm going to run it forward. We're up to August 2nd so far of this year. Right about there. August, uh, excuse me, October 4th, it is going to be extremely close to Mars. Unfortunately, I don't have scale to figure out the actual distance based on its current plot, but it's going to come probably within 5 million miles of the planet. This could also alter its trajectory, if not impact into the planet, if the trajectory track isn't correct. So I'm going to move it forward again. Hang on a second. I'm going to change it back to the sun. I'm going to blow it up. Alright. Let's let it go in. And I'm going to step it forward. It gets to the sun's orbit roughly on November 28th of this year, which is the first day of Hanukkah, and it will do a dance around the sun. Lucky for us, and I'm trying to get this lined up on the ecliptic again. it's going to make an immediate departure out of the solar system and it won't endanger any other planets. However, there is a possible chance of issues. Now, I'm going to run this back a sum. Sorry for the delay in time, but I'm trying to get this point across. The center on the Earth. Well, you probably just tell from the plot. It's going to throw a whole heap of debris in our path, which really won't be an effect for us. but we will pass into it in approximately two months from the time the comet passes through. Uh, no telling how much debris. 
if it starts breaking up we could get something in effect like a shotgun blast another potential problem which Rockland brought up as well is if we go back to the Sun and let's move it whoops let me get this right back to the Sun zooming in and I'm just going to step it forward just to make sure I don't lose it if this comet is going to come this close to the Sun uh, probable distance has been estimated at 1 million miles and I don't know the kilometers distance but that would be approximately four times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. It could cause solar flare activities around the point where the uh, comet comes close to the Sun. Don't know, just saying possible. So we can be hit by debris as we pass through it. We could have possible solar flares and there's a possible chance of a near hit in the Mars, although near hit astronomically is pretty close. Um, in this case, I think it's going to be around four to five million miles from the planet Mars when it passes. And still, I think there's a chance for it to alter the course. How much unknown, but there's always a chance plus you never know what's going to happen on these trajectory swings. Depends on what happens, depends on what the sun does, uh, it depends if it alters its course or any, any other type of trajectory modifications. Uh, hard to say, but in NASA's uh, cleaned up presentation, it's going to miss mostly everything except for Mars. So that's what we picked up today. Maybe it'll be interesting, maybe not. I'll put the link below so you can go look at it yourself and um, make your own conclusions. But um, this is what it is and uh, the rest of it is conjecture on the three points. Uh, I always put something in for McGraw at the end. Obviously this doesn't represent her. <laughs> that doesn't go across. So from McGraw to McGraw, Agam Gish, Tase, Mont. Dish, Trinona, Soft. For everybody else, Shalom and have a good night.